crates. BA Streets Daily, nigga. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh. I always knew the difference between right and wrong. It's just that sometimes doing what's right didn't always fix what was wrong or make the lights come back on in some of our homes. Now imagine being so cold just to keep warm. You got to go stand by the stove or sleep in your clothes. Luckily, it wasn't that rough for me, but I seen some of my cousin and friends who grew up with me suffer and live like this, unfortunately. So how can anything we fucking done to get out of these neighborhoods and slums be considered wrong? Even if we did do it by getting rid of grams of drugs, so what? We took the goddamn risk of losing our lives all over eight balls and crumbs. And I don't know how many times I've been shot at in drive-bys or how many I done went and done. I just stay quiet and try to forget. And I was taught not to talk too much about the violence I've done. Cause I don't want my own karma to come back in some. You ever been on the corners up, all 24, or somewhere in the cut out of town with a little hoe that's fucking you and helping you move your coke and good at both? But what good is it when you spend it and end up broke, locked up with a public defender, which make you look even guiltier than before? Now that girl you was fucking with in love with some nigga you had selling your dope, but that's just typical nigga shit. I been knew the rules and how that go. You supposed to know if we gotta sit and do a bid, rule number one is you gotta let that bitch go. Plus, I can never let myself feel like I'm under someone else's control, no. I remember having a half of some yellow oil-based dope that was said to be some of the best by the crackheads I know. I seen powderheads take one too, and as soon as the drain hit the back of their throat, it had them gagging and throwing up. And when I saw that, automatically the numbers went up. Crazy. Motherfuckers.